Hi guys. For today's video I'm gonna be ranking dot all the legendary pets in Trainers Arena. This video is intended to help players dot understand the concept of stronger and weaker pets in game dot based on my point of view. With that, let's begin. The first one is Mermaquin. She is very durable in battle, and she dot has the op ability to do combos with her dot skills. But she deals low skill damage compared to other pets. Her main damage source is her combos, but it takes luck to be able to execute them. Mermaquin can be strong on some occasions, but I truly think that a lot of pets are much more stronger than her. That's why I'm putting her on C tier. Charm Serpent is very tanky and can deal massive dot amounts of damage. But her skills have very low chances of hitting, it takes actual luck for her skills to hit. But even though her skills miss more than a few times, she can still deal massive damage. That's why I think she deserves a tier. Osidon can defeat any pets with just one skill point using his op combo abilities. His main damage comes from his ability to do combos, but if he missed or didn't do any combo he becomes dot really vulnerable. He has really strong damage potential, but he lacks dot defensive capabilities. That's why I'm putting him in B tier. Kulos can deal good damage and has good durability. Unlike some pets who are either too tanky or has too much damage, Kulos is balanced. And unlike Charm who has low accuracy, Kulos's skill set has the right amount of accuracy. That's why I think he deserves B tier as well. Blazer can deal devastating damage and he has damage based heal which allows him to instantly regain almost all of his HP every skill cast. He has low durability, but unlike OSE I don comma dot he has the ability to heal. That's why I think Blazer gains a rightful place in the S tier. Flamingo has good base damage and dot he has the ability to revive. He can also increase his overall stats dot every time he revives speed, damage, defenses. He has really low HP initially, so he depends dot mostly on revive. He is strong on some occasions but his revival chance is just too low to rely on. For that, I'm giving him a place on the dot C tier. Faistus has very weak skill damage, but he makes up for it dot by his super high HP and painful Mega Mars. He is super durable with skills that can dot instantly regain all his HP. And his Mega Mars allows him to counter almost every high damage pet in game. For that, he deserves an S tier spot. Evan, although lacks defenses, can deal devastating damage because of his skill set. Some of Evan's skills can deal insane damage when enemy has burn effect. His damage can counter most of the pets in game. That's why I'm ranking him S tier. Zeta has great damage, defenses and accuracy. Her skill set is much like Evan, but she has higher accuracy and defenses in exchange for dot lower damage. But overall, I think she's up. That's why I'm ranking her B tier. Ryan has high speed, good defenses and dot pretty good accuracy. But unlike Mermaquin that can do combo, and Flaming O, O dot who can revive, Ryan has no skill to make dot her reliable. Her damage is not that high, and her survivability is just average. She can be strong, but for me, most of the pets in game can easily counter her. That's why I'm putting her in D tier. You can never go wrong with Elfo. Her skill set allows her to deal strong damage while reducing her opponent's damage. And she has the healing passives, allowing her to sustain much longer in battle. Only a few pets can counter her. That's why I'm ranking her a tier. Although lacking offensive capabilities, Friar is dot strong on the defense category. Much like Faistus, Friar has up Mega Mars, which makes up dot for his lack of skill damage. This allows him to counter many pets, but unlike Faistus, Friar has lower HP and doesn't have healing abilities. That's why I'm putting him on a tier. Ardmeter is the master of grass types. She may lack defenses, but her skill set and damage makes up for it. Once you got applied with sleep effect, there is only a dot small chance of survival. The only way to counter her is when your pet has Mega Insomnia, but even then, you still have small chance of getting applied with sleep. She's very powerful. That's why I'm ranking her S tier. Ali is strong considering that he has the ability dot to revive. And much like Flamingo, he becomes stronger the more he revives. 
but his skill damage is too low, his defenses is not that strong, and his revival chance dot is too low to be reliable. That's why I'm ranking him C tier. Lolakot is a powerful stuncaster. Her skills may deal low damage, but she is built too, continuously stun the enemies, she has really high dot accuracy making her rarely miss. And she has two op passives that allows her to apply, paralyze or confuse to the enemy every time she's attacked. She may be a normal type pet, but she can dominate everyone with enough luck and dot knowledge. That's why I'm ranking her S tier. Black Claw is the highest damage dealing pet out of all three normal type pets. Her skills and passives are built to burst down enemies. But despite this, many pets can still counter him because dot of his low HP and defenses. But overall, he's still powerful. That's why I'm ranking him a tier. Slugothic, much like Lolicot, is also a stuncaster, but she specializes on paralyze effect. Slugothic deals lots of damage when her combo dot is done properly, and she's also really tanky. Attacking her gives you 60% chance of dot obtaining paralyze effect. But unlike other psychic types, her damage and abilities is not strong enough to outshine other pets. That's why I'm putting her on B tier. Sinusus can deal insane damage and his skills, and passives allows him to burst down enemies. He can equip an op healing ability, and has the chance to dot parry when he's attacked by the enemy, making his damage output even stronger. I'm putting him in S tier. Razorn has the passives of Phaestus and Sinusus. He has the op Mega Mars and chance to parry, which makes dot him a really annoying opponent. He is strong, but for me, his skill damage is just too weak, and even though he has Mega Mars, he's still weaker than Phaestus cause he doesn't have heal. But overall, he's still a good pet. That's why I'm putting him on a tier. Hawk has really massive damage and has the ability dot to revive. Unlike Flamingoid though, his revive is much more dot reliable. Even though Hayes' skills have lower chances to hit, his overall capabilities is still really up. That's why I'm ranking him a tier. Edas is like the combination of three op pets. He has the op healing ability and HP of Phaestus, he obtained the high revival chance of Hawk, dot, and he can equip the skill combos of Slagothic. He's very op but some pets can still easily counter him. That's why I'm ranking him a tier. Wasthorn has no defensive capabilities and low HP. But she makes up for it in her insane damage output. Who needs defense when you can just one hit the enemy? She is easily the strongest damage dealing pet dot in game. That's why she deserves S tier. So that's basically it. Dot comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Thank you for watching.